Hello and welcome to another Lens Studio tutorial. In this video, you're going to learn how you can use head binding in your lenses in Lens Studio, like this or like this. All the resources that I'm using in order to make this lens are in the description below. And yeah, let's create. Here's how you can use head binding to make lenses in Lens Studio. We're going to do this in two parts. One is by using images and two is by using 3D objects. If you want to see a specific one, skip to this time code. Let's begin with how you can use images using head binding to your lenses. First, find your images that you want to use. I'm going to choose both of these right here and add this into my resources. Then go to objects, add new object and search for face image. This will add an image object to your head binding so that your image is tracked to your face. Then add whatever image you want to add into your face image by dragging and dropping it into texture. You can see that it is added, but this is quite small. Change the size, go to transform, click on the uniform scale and change the size. I'm going to change this to 20. Then you can go to head binding and change the attach to point to attach it to a place on your face. I'm going to choose forehead. You can see that this gets added. Here's how you can add a 3D object track to your face in Lens Studio. First, find your 3D object. I found this 3D object on Sketchfab. You can download the same 3D object from the description below. Make sure that this 3D object is either a GLB, OBJ or an FBX file. Drag and drop the 3D object into your resources and click on import. Once your 3D object is added into your scene, go to objects, add new object, face effects and head binding. Add your 3D object into your head binding. You can see that my 3D object is a lot far away. First of all, I want to change the size of this 3D object. Go to Uniform Scale, change this to 10. Now you can see that it's a lot smaller. It's still bigger for my face. I'm going to change this to about 5. Next, I'm going to go into my top view. Use this tool, which is the Move tool or W as a shortcut. Move this front and move this to the side. Similarly, you can go into the front view, go back and bring this down. You can see that this is still too big for my face. You can again change this to two. All you have to do now is adjust it so that it's right on top of the face. I'm going to speed this up a little bit until I get this to the right point. You can see here that there is an occluder. You can Uncheck this occluder if you'd like. What the occluder does, it makes sure that things appear rightly on the face. If I remove the occluder, you can see the side of your glasses. So I'm going to keep my occluder on, but adjust this in a way so that it covers the whole thing. I'm going to increase size a little bit more so that it's right on top of the face. I'm going to move it a little bit back. Yes, and this is perfect. If you want, you can use these dimensions directly into your lens so that you don't have to move things around. And yeah, this is how you can use head binding in your lenses in Lens Studio. If you like the tutorial, 
click here to find more such tutorials. You can also subscribe to me and press that bell icon to never miss another tutorial.